Welcome to Crazy Towns. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. No, and I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the time. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, so. Yep. Did you see about like Boris Johnson from the UK? Did you see that he 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 finally was done? <laughs> well, them's the breaks, Jonas. You know. Yeah. Them's the breaks. Did you see that his last words as his at his position? Did you see what he said right before he walked off? It wasn't. It wasn't them. The breaks. Nope. He uh. I thought it was them. The breaks. No, he uh finished up his whole thing and then he said, "Hasta la vista, baby." <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then he got a standing ovation. I was like, imagine if like Obama, his last speech, he was just like, hasta la vista, baby. Like, <laughs> what the F? It was so funny as uh, because over there they've been playing like uh, Benny Hill music outside of like, uh, oh. I guess they're equivalent <laughs> to the White House or whatever. Oh, oh. So the, just, they played it for like days. Oh, Jesus. Isn't that what 10 Downing Street or something like that? I don't know. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Downing Abbey. Yeah. So, I don't know, dude. I just, I don't know. It's weird. I have to admit that it would be so goddamn disheartening, disheartening to be like a public figure like that and have people so overwhelmingly displeased with your performance that they force you out of office. That's insanity. We've had in our country's history recently what people would consider one of the worst bad actors in a, in a high ranking position and we couldn't even do that. Yeah, but our process is different than theirs. It's a, it's a two step process here. We we impeached, but we couldn't kick out. And then we tried it again, and huh? we couldn't kick out twice. <laughs> yeah, right. Like it's I I think that almost that almost looks worse on our country. That like we recognize, oh, you had derelict of duty. You did things that inca that we say you shouldn't be there, and then our own people were like, "No, nah, you're good, dog. Just stay." And now it appears that the plan is to prevent him from being able to even attempt to do it again. With, uh, to run of any stuff. office because yeah that's, that's what some they're of the stuff they're doing right now yeah. yeah I don't know man like it's I mean politics or whatever but it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy especially like hasta la vista you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna use an, you you say you've never been fired from a job no no I've never been fired from a job because of performance so mm -hmm. it's very hard for me like I've been fired because like I have. I want to like give all the reasons I've been, I've been fired just because I'm like, I quit and oh, you can't quit. We, you're fired <laughs> or like I, I mouth off, you know, I get, I, I get passionate and I get how I mouth off or, you know, like they're like, oh, we want you out of here because we can hire somebody in younger than you who can do the, oh, ages deed. Got ages oh, yeah. in doubt. Yeah, definitely. Um, but never has it been like a group of people intervention style. Like, look, we need you out of here. Like, I'm not, all of his cabinet members are like, I'm not working with this guy anymore. I'm out of here. Yeah, like, detrimental to your own people. Like, it's nuts. And, it's, and that just goes to show you, like, dude, anybody can really do this job or can get the job because he got elected. Yeah, I don't know how that, well, see, I don't understand how people the UK liked does him stuff. at one point. Because, like, they had that lady, I don't remember her name. <laughs> and she. And she was – all of a sudden she was gone. They didn't have an election, like a public election that I know of, and then this guy was in. But he didn't he get – this was his second term, wasn't it? I thought he just won. Didn't he just win the popular vote? I have no idea how their stuff I don't works. know their goddamn politics either, Jonas. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I do, but I just know it's that – either way, the fact that he got elected in the first place and that you couldn't see the red flags popping up. Yeah, man, but I mean, look at look what's happening in our country now too. Like, you got know, some got, got some people out here, some real extreme views, winning oh elections. My God, dude, <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes the current president, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and I saw something that there was like some lady who was at the January sixth stuff and like was saying like kill somebody or other, got elected to some seat somewhere, dude. And I was yeah. like, wait a second, you but were she, part of the January sixth, got convicted went to had to go to jail for like 60 days and now you're gonna be part of the government like yeah i think she's going back to jail though i think or no she was she's going to be prevented from getting in her office because she's going back i don't remember this whole yeah story. I, but I, yeah i mean yeah it's fine 
Well, because I think we, we did the story about the guy who got elected and, then, and like he's gonna he's on trial for murdering yeah, his wife. I so I think it's the same sort of thing. Like if you haven't like been convicted and aren't haven't like been sentenced, yeah. you still can do it. But I think once you're a criminal convicted then they yeah i saw the story i did not read it because god knows that i don't care yeah right. <laughs> about but that i, I stuff. just think the fact that like <laughs> people know that you have that that you've done that right like oh you were part of the january 6th or you may have killed your wife but and they still go out and vote for you <laughs> they're well, like damn right let me go out and vote for that dude or that lady i mean i'm gonna put it to you like this jones no matter what you think is very unique to your situation you're gonna find like men like-minded individuals who sympathize with you no matter who <laughs> you are like are. i hate my wife too <laughs> or i'm so happy for a hodge killer yeah, right or like, story. Yeah, i hate america too i'm gonna go like come on oh, man. Yeah, like, man. i hate america too <laughs> i think if you ran on the premise of i hate america to try to become president <laughs> i don't think that's gonna work too well <laughs> people like maybe, yeah <laughs> maybe if you're in the russian government that, right yeah, yeah no that's how that's how they do it for sure or, or any other country on the planet any other country so uh one other uh, tidbit i'll pop in real fast so did you i saw this article pop up that uh there was like i think it was russian propaganda at, that said uh russia had said that they're losing in Ukraine because they have experimental mutant troops created in secret bio labs. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> they just said, like... That's amazing. I hope it's true, but yeah, at the same time... I mean, I, I feel like it's not. not, but I saw the headline and I was like, why do I feel like that probably has some truth to it? Like, I feel like... Mutant biohumans, Like, dude? they've been genetically engineered... The, America's been over there engineering humans to fight war, dude. They found... <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's I, literally the Weapon X program. <laughs> This Shall we call you Logan Weapon X? Yeah, dude. It's Wolverine's backstory. This is how it happened. They're all out there with adamantium claws. Hey, dude. I'd kill to have an adamantium exoskeleton or intro skeleton, whichever one you can handle. Any of them? I'd take a skeleton. <laughs> I think you have one. I mean, I could always use a backup. You want two skeletons? Yeah, let's hook it up. Do Why don't it. we talk about the skeletons in your closet? Oh, I mean, what do you want to know? <laughs> I'm willing to let it all fly for the... For the podcast, yeah. believe me. <laughs> I'll tell you anything that I'm trying yeah. to keep currently hidden just because I want the podcast. Why don't we just to go through my uh, Google history on the podcast? Your, ro <laughs> your Rolodex. <laughs> my Rolodex. Go, get out your Rolodex on your desk. No, let's, I don't have let's a Rolodex. Start out at, we'll start at E. How oh, e Jonas, e this is actually a great idea. What's that? On the podcast, we do Google Chicken. And we go through our our history. Okay. And then the first person to back down. <laughs> I mean, I'll just back down now. <laughs> I lost. I think it's such a good idea, though. Yeah? Yeah, I'd probably lose, too, dude. <laughs> what kind of weirdish am I looking up today? Like, it's, it's just funny, the stuff that, like, pops in your head, and you're just like, yeah. I wonder about that. Yeah, because mine is going to start out with, like, a movie or something. I was looking up an actor, and then we're going to start getting into, like... Big wet butts. And yeah, well, I wonder. Oh, I wonder if that actor has naked pictures on the internet, and then start looking that up. <laughs> Big wet butts. Big wet butts. <laughs> I think that's a Simpsons reference. Is it? I, I don't think know. So. Dude. Big juicy booties. <laughs> I think it is. Biggins. Uh, Biggums. Biggins was. Uh, Married with children. Oh, Biggins. Yes, yes. Biggins. The, the nudie mag that I would always look at was always Biggins. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, if you want a Google chicken, you can read off your Google history. You I know, refuse. I'll say up, you win. I refuse to do that. All right. Well, <laughs> then that's all the time we have for today's episode, I guess, since we weren't going to, you aren't going to do it for us. <laughs> Not gonna do it for us. No. Yep. yep. All right. We'll go to crazytown.com. Maybe if you go there and look, he'll help put a video up or he'll live stream it. For Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep. Yeah.